Now this is Ecclesiastes chapter 26 verse 22. And harlot shall be accounted as spittle. Right, meaning a hoe, a woman who has no problem having multiple sex partners, or a young lady who have no problem, or a grandma who have no problems having multiple sex partners, dressing provocative, and do what thou will, spirit, what she shall be counted as? And holla shall be accounted as spittle. A hoe shall be counted as nothing. But a married woman is a tower against death to her husband. Exactly. A wicked woman is given as a portion to a wicked man. Right, and that's for all you men out there who are talking about, man, I got, man, I got this fucking fucked up ass woman who got my child. That's because you're a wicked man. And how do you know you're a wicked man? You ain't doing this true. Go ahead. But a godly woman is given to him that feareth the Lord. See that? But what's that? But a godly woman is given to him that feareth the Lord. See that? So the Lord is around here picking y'all partners. <laughs> Picking y'all mates, so you might want to come into this truth like my son, because he definitely ain't going to find no virtuous women around here. But the Lord will help him out. Okay, that's it. Second Timothy 3 and 1. It's the book of Second Timothy, chapter 3, verse 1. Take it to 5. This now also, that is in the last days. And we are living in the last day. Perilous time shall come. Yeah, evil time. For men shall be lovers of their own selves. That's exactly what's going on. That's why more niggas ain't taking care of their kids. Covetous. Covetous. Bolsters. Bolsters. Proud. Proud. This is what y'all dealing with for all the people who don't know these scriptures. Proud. Blasphemers. Blasphemers. Disobedient to parents. See that? So that's why y'all kids ain't listening to y'all ass. Unthankful. They unthankful. So you can do all this stuff for them. Provide a house. Everything for them. And they still gonna go... Smoke weed, have sex, go party, get in fights, get in trouble. And that's why y'all going through these things. Unholy. Unholy. Why? Because you don't know the scriptures and the church is not of God. Without natural affection. See that? They ain't going to have a natural affection. Because when your kid tell you, oh, I can't wait till you die. That's without natural affection. Or the parents sound about they, can't, they hate their kids and they don't give a fuck what happened to them. That's without natural affection. Truth breakers. Truth breakers. False accusers. Yes, they are a lot of those. That's why y'all be at, that's why y'all fighting all throughout this world and stuff, because y'all all false accusing each other. Go ahead. Incontinent. Mm-hmm. Fierce. And they are fierce. And I'm and after this we had a video of us coming back from out of town from Milwaukee from doing the work. And I'm gonna show you how these kids out here have these traits on them. Says despisers of those that are good. Exactly. So my son needs to look out for that, and so do I, who, and so you Akims out there all over who do this work, and the sisters who, who, who try to do, this, do the scriptures and maintain their house according to the scriptures. A lot of your friends going to come against you. Says traitors. Yeah, I just said that. Your so-called friends. Heady. Yeah. High-minded. And they are. And you can thank uh, all your sports for that and these so-called gyms that everybody going to, making everybody high-minded. Because the little Latin broad over here who be with the Puerto Rican, she be sitting over there raising her shirt up, looking at her abs all day. You probably ain't seen her over there. It says, lovers of pleasures more than lovers of God. Exactly. See that? Y'all don't want to do what's right according to the Bible. Y'all want to do what the lovers of this pleasure this world. So the Bible is telling you and got y'all number for all you who say it's outdated. It says, stop at five. Having a form of godliness. And that's you church members. But denying the power thereof. That's why y'all fall into the snares of Satan. From such turn away. And y'all do turn away. Y'all turn away from the truth. That's it. Okay. Ecclesiastic is 42 and 9. Ecclesiastes chapter 42 9 to 13 verse 9 it says the father waketh for the daughter yep when no man know it see that so these fathers out here that all you so called men are exploiting to these to these sex rings you don't even know that these women have fathers who worried about them go ahead Says, and the care for her taketh away sleep. Right, and he worrying himself to death. That's why some of y'all are being cut down by these fathers, and you pimps being beat up by these men who 
saying these are my kids, how dare you do this? When she is young, lest she pass away the flower of her age. Right, because if you don't do this, then she's going to be past the flower of her age, meaning she's ready to have sex and, and reproduce. And being married. Yep, and being married, because that's what she's supposed to be done. Go ahead. Lest she be hated. Right, unless she be hated. So all you women talking about, no, I ain't getting married, I'm too young. Well, you going well, you breaking the natural process of what God said. And as you know what, and let me open up another fold to you black women, you Latin and Native American women. The reason why your sixteen and fifth your fifteen, sixteen and seventeen year old daughter wanna go out and have sex is because the Lord, Yahweh Shah built her with a natural clock. That at that age they supposed to be getting married and reproducing. Not going to college and being sluts. So if you always want to know why my daughter go to college and want to have sex, that's because you're working against Yahweh natural order he gave, but you don't have the knowledge of God. Go ahead. It says, in her virginity, mm -hmm. lest she should be defiled and gotten with child in her father's house. Exactly, and that's exactly what's going on. These young girls going to these high schools with a number of horlet schools, and they're going to these horlet colleges, and they're not pe finishing their first year, and they're coming home, and they got babies in the house with you. Why? Because y'all not y'all don't know the natural order. Go ahead. It says, and having an husband. Yeah. Lest she should misbehave herself. Right. And how do they misbehave themselves? Boyfriends. That's not in the scriptures. And when she is married, lest she should be barren. Mm-hmm. Because see, she's supposed to get married and then have kids. That's the natural function. Keep a sure watch over a shameless daughter. Right. So if you know your daughter is one of those possibilities of going through this process of having sex, the scriptures, Yahweh Shah told you to keep watch over her. And what else? Says. And she don't mind wearing them little ass shorts and them tank tops and, and she gravitate to them clothes. Don't let the mother gravitate your daughter to them clothes. Go ahead. Lest she make thee a laughing stock to thine enemies. Right, and why is she a laughing? You why is she gonna make you a laughing stock to your enemies? Because all the other nations are, are say, "Ain't that Jim's daughter?" See her walking down the street. She half naked. And and they make mockery of you, blacks, Latins, and Native Americans, of y'all kids walking around here with them little ass shorts on, with them tight ass spandex pants on, and the ass is hanging out, titties hanging out. These other nations are laughing at our nation. Go ahead. It says, Lest she make thee a laughing stock to thine enemies, and a byword in the city. Right. Man, these black women some hoes. These Latin women some hoes. And that's true through all the cities. Go ahead. And a reproach among the people. Right. Because your friends, your colleagues, your friends, you know, going to say, man, he let his daughter just go. Go ahead. And make thee ashamed before the multitude. Right, see that? The multitude. You go if you're taking your dumb silly ass to church, silly dove to church, right. You being mocked by your pastors, your preachers, all the women in there. Uh-huh. Do what I seen her yesterday walking down the street. You should have seen what she had on, girl. See, but don't nobody know these scriptures though. Go ahead. Behold, not everybody's beauty. And sit not in the midst of women. See that? And this for you young boys out here. Read that top part again about the beauty. Behold, not everybody's beauty. See that? So the scriptures tell me, my son, and all you men out there, and you women, to don't just be beholding how people look. Go ahead. And this for you men right here. Who got girl and you young boys, that's my son age, to have girls as friends. And you old men who have girls as friends. What do the scriptures say about that? And sit not in the midst of women. See, one more time. And sit not in the midst of women. Three times, Christ wrote. And sit not in the midst of women. Do y'all get it? Sit not in the midst of women. Says, for from garments cometh a moth. See that? From garments cometh a moth. Eh? And from women, wickedness. Right, and that's why you young men and you old men become fucking punks and gospel like women and be emotional because you sit in the midst of them and their spirit rub off on you like the young boy we seen when we was doing a lesson 
by Lincoln when we was on that bridge. And I stopped them young boys. I wish I would have got it recorded, but that's okay. That's it. Stop it at 13. So them straight instructions. Ecclesiastes 25, 24. That's why we do these lessons. For you brothers to get this knowledge, this understanding, and apply it to your life. Don't just get it. Apply it. And teach it to your sons and your daughters and your household. This Ecclesiasticus. This taking off the um the darkness. It's Ecclesiasticus chapter 25, verse 24. 26. Says.